Hi, my name is Charity Willett, Fixed Income Associate here at Howen Wrestling. Today, I'm going to talk to you about the difference between a bond's coupon, its current yield, and its yield to maturity. The simplest concept is the coupon, which is just the interest paid on the bond. For example, say you hold a bond whose face value is $10,000 and the coupon is 2%. That means the bond issuer will pay you, the bond holder, $200 each year you own it. Most often, this payment comes semi-annually, with bondholders receiving half of the annual payment every six months. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your $10,000 bond will yield exactly 2%. In fact, the only way your yield will be exactly 2% is if you bought the bond at par, which means you paid exactly $10,000 for a $10,000 bond. Most times we buy bonds on the secondary market where the price fluctuates due to a variety of market conditions. Since bonds are rarely, if ever, priced at par in this market, we need to find a way to account for the price of the bond. One way to do this is by using the current yield. The current yield is just the coupon divided by the current price. It's going to tell you how much your bond will yield if you buy it at a given price and hold that bond for one year. So let's assume that we pay $10,500 for our $10,000 bond. Since 0 0.02 divided by 10,500 equals 1.91, the current yield on our bond is 1.91%. While the current yield is a good tool for thinking about short-term investments, most bondholders are in it for the long haul. So a bondholder will naturally want to use a tool that's a little more comprehensive. The natural question is then, what will my bond yield if I bought it today at a given price and held it to maturity? That's where the yield to maturity becomes really useful. When we talk about yield to maturity, we're talking about how much the bond will yield annually if the owner holds it to maturity. Like the current yield, yield to maturity uses both the coupon and the current price, but it goes a step further by also considering the present value of the bond's future coupon payments. We use yield to maturity because it helps make different bonds more of an apples to apples comparison when deciding on a fair price. It's a tool to help us objectively compare bonds that might have different maturities, different coupons, different ratings, or be in different sectors. We can also use the yield to maturity to evaluate a bond's market price against its fair value. Because of this, a bond's yield to maturity is a more accurate way to determine a fair price. While a bond priced at 110 cents on the dollar might look expensive, it could very well have a higher yield to maturity than a bond priced at 99 cents on the dollar, which in turn means it's actually less expensive. I hope this gives you a more complete picture of how to look at your bonds. Thanks for tuning in to Street Smarts. We hope to see you again next time.